Well, when they started the catfish farming, they found out that under certain conditions, the dissolved oxygen would get very low in the ponds, especially in the early morning, and, and this stressed or killed the fish, so they were somewhat desperate for a way to prevent this. And they kept coming over here and asking me about how much, I mean, how to aerate these ponds. And I didn't really want to get involved in it. I kept trying to put them off on engineers, and apparently the engineers didn't want to get involved with this. And finally, just out of, more or less out of desperation, we uh, did a project here that lasted, oh, I guess, about eight or 10 years. We, we made some prototypes and tested them in a big tank, and we were able to put a, a device in line with the, between the motor and the paddle wheel so we could tell how much power was going to the paddle wheel. And we ran those things with all different kinds of paddles and configurations of paddles on the hub that helped them. And we ran them at different speeds and different depths. And we finally came up with a design similar to that one in the background that, that worked quite well. And so they've been thousands of those things made since then. And they're about the only kind of uh, aerator used in the catfish farm. And they're also used in some other types of aquaculture and also in some wastewater treatment they actually use those kind of aerators.